Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project online notice board and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python 3.7, Django is 2 and MySQL version is 5.6. Also for connecting Django and uh, Django Python with MySQL, I am using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. Even you can use the PyMySQL for connecting MySQL with Python and Django. <coughs> right. So this server side technology I have used for front-end development. I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations, date calendar plugin integrations. I have used the jQuery plugins. Right. This is a basic bootstrap theme, means responsive theme. If you open this uh, project in any of the screens, like mobile devices or any other tabs, so. Uh, the ui will not be distorted right so these all technology stacks i have developed i have used for developing this project online notice board right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented inside this project right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page right and after that this is about this is about the project this is a static about us page this is the notices all notices you can see all of the notices are available here this is a view details if you want to see the details of the notices just click on the view details you can see the details of the notices right even you can comment on that notice right so you can see all of the comments are available here right but if you want to comment then you need to log in first for uh, entering the comment for placing the comment right so here it's saying that click here to login once you click on the click here to login you can log in from here right i will log in later <coughs> this is the notice types so once you click on any of the notice types that type of notice will be displayed right you can see right if you click on the on notices the all of the notices will be displayed right so this is the uh details of the notice this is the listing of the notice for seeing the details you can click on the view details this is a registration if you don't have the user id and password then you can create your user id and password and after that you can log in from here login screen right so there are two types of roles available here inside the system the first one is admin the second one is a student admin can post the notice admin can manage each and every systems each and every modules while a student can post the comments and see his comments only. This is a contact us. This is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into a database. Even I'm not sending a type of email and SMS from this page. So let me log in as an admin first. So the user ID is admin and the password is test. Once you log inside the system, you will get this dashboard. Here you can perform these operations, right? So these options are available here on this drop down menu also right so let me go through one by one so home i already explained you about us already explained you this is a dashboard this is a add notice from here you can add the notices notice title notice type course name for which course that notice belongs to notice date so this is the date calendar which i have integrated using the jquery notice image and descriptions this is the notice type from here you can add the notice types add new course here you can add the courses right suppose if you are launching a new course then you can launch the new course and add it into the notice <coughs> this is a notice report all of the notices will be displayed here you can see all of the notices are displayed here displaying here and once you click on the edit that notice will open in the edit form and you can update the details this is a course report right all of the course which you have added and this course will come in this drop down right this notice type is totally dynamic course name is totally dynamic and the value of these drop downs are coming from the databases so this is a course report you can add it, it update delete course from here this is a notice type report you can perform any type of uh, CRUD application create it update delete from this right see this all notice type will be displayed uh, on the home page as well as the drop down <coughs> this is a comments report all of the comments which has been placed by the students will be displayed here you can view the comments each and everything will be displayed here all right this is a student report all of the students who has registered inside the system will be displayed here you can edit 
and you can update your details also right this is my account from where you can update your account password and the logout so this is a session driven menu and it renders according to the session if you log out then the above administration menu will not be displayed so let me show you i am logging out then above administration menu is not displaying but if i log in then administration menu is displaying even it renders according to the session also right suppose if i log in as a student then the little options will be displayed less option will be displayed here because a student has less number of functionalities right permissions so this is the student functionalities right student dashboard from here you can see all of the comments placed by you right you can see all of the comments this is my account you can change your account passwords and now i am going to place some of the comments on the notice so if this is a view details you can see there are already uh, five comments now i am going to uh, dot is admission uh, late fine fine uh, is there me late fine find if we apply for admission after due date right once you click on the post comment that comment will be saved and you can see this is the late fine right is there any late fine right so this has been posted on this date right so 23rd of april it has been posted right so this all comments will be saved into database even you can see all of your comments here in the section comment section view right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project on a notice board so as i told you earlier this is a major project developed in python django and mysql which has two types of roles that is the admin and the second one is i should add right both has their own set of functionalities with some restrictions right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much